Here's another way to define variance. We can take advantage of the expectation operator in order to think about our definition of variance. What is this variance? It's the sum of a quantity for each unit in the population divided by how many units there are in the population. The quantity happens to be x minus mu squared, but we're taking x minus mu squared for every unit, adding them all up, dividing by how many there are. That's what the expectation operator says. In other words, the variance, by definition, is equal to the expected value of x minus the expected value of x squared. Because the expectation operator, by definition, is adding up this quantity for each unit in the population and dividing by how many there are. What does that help us see? Well, let's think about this quantity for a moment. Let me multiply out this middle part. This is equal to the expected value of x minus mu times x minus mu. Where does that get us? Well, let me continue to multiply this out. I have the expected value of x squared minus mu x minus mu x, so minus 2 mu x plus mu squared. That's where we are. I'm going to take advantage of the linearity property of the expectation in order to investigate this quantity. What are we going to say? The expected value of x squared minus 2 mu x plus mu squared is equal to the expected value of x squared plus the expected value of minus 2 mu x plus the expected value of mu squared. Okay. So we'll just save this part, the expected value of x squared. What happens over here? Remember that due to the linearity property of expectation, we get to pull out anything that's constant. Negative 2 is a constant, and so is mu. Mu is a constant as well. Mu is the overall population mean, and it doesn't vary when I'm thinking about different possible x's. When I think about the first unit in the population, and you say, what's the mean of the population? Mu. When I happen to be thinking about the fourth unit in the population, and you say, what's the mean of the population? Still mu. It doesn't matter which unit I'm thinking of, because the population mean is defined as the average value for all the units in the population. In other words, mu is just a constant. So I get to pull it out. I get to pull out negative 2 mu expected value of x. What do I have over here? The expected value of mu squared. Mu is just a constant. Doesn't vary based on which x I happen to be thinking of. So mu squared is also just a constant. So I can pull this out. Let's explicitly pull this out. I'll say mu squared times the expected value, well, mu squared times 1 is mu squared. In other words, just 1. The expected value of the number 1 is just 1. Let me erase this last piece. The expected value of a constant is just that constant. And that's what we just showed. OK. Let's continue here. We've got the expected value of x squared minus 2 times mu. What is expectation of x? Mu. That's just another way of writing mu. So what we have is negative 2 mu squared plus mu squared. We've got some cancellation here. This is equal to the expected value of x squared minus 2 mu squared plus mu squared. In other words, minus mu squared. And just to make sure we're comfortable with what we've shown here, both for the notation mu and the equivalent notation expectation of x squared, note that we can also write this expectation of x squared minus expectation of x squared. This particular way of writing down the variance is extremely useful for derivations. It's extremely useful because what have we done? We've separated the two quantities that are being subtracted within the square sign. Right, so now we can separately focus on these two different ideas. It happens to be an idea that's difficult to say out loud. The variance of x is equal to the expected value of x squared minus the expected value of x squared. Those pauses turn out to be crucial, but the parentheses make it clearer. This is what we've demonstrated. When is this useful? Well, we'll use it 
in a few different situations. But let me just point out what this expression, this equation implies. Let me add mu squared to both sides. If I happen to come across the quantity expectation of x squared, note that I now can write that as variance of x plus mu squared. And note that we have got lots of different notations for this. This is all the same notation. I could write it like this. I could write it like this. All means the same thing. When I come across the quantity, expectation of x squared, now I know that I can write that quantity in terms of sigma squared and mu squared.